Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to A Dark Place 2. A Dark Place 2 is a meta horror game with a kind of almost Windows XP style aesthetic. It is a sequel to the original, and that game was a little more towards um, the I'm Scared kind of style. This one's a little more different, a little more of a departure, more surreal. And this is a kind of beta early build of the game. So it's a cut down version of the main game, not quite just a demo. So essentially we get a full experience for the most part. Sounds like a intentionally a Windows boot sound. Booting reality system. Boot failure. Reality system files appear to be missing. Press 1 to try again or 2 to install the default system. Try 1. System restart requested. Shutting down. You were not Goodbye. Shutting down. Goodbye. I'm assuming it didn't work and you want me to install the default system. Yep. All right, go of default. Press the spacebar to begin the application. Oh, sweet. Look at that soul. Welcome, Manly Badass Hero. Please select a profile picture. Nah. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh, no. Hey, look, it's my soul. I have no idea. That looks kind of like edgy Slender Man. Let's go with my soul. Your profile is almost complete. Lastly, we need to create your virtual player file. Generating file. Congratulations. The setup has been completed. You are now a new player to roam this world. Hmm, that's a face you can love. We clearly only have one gigabyte of RAM here. Man, look at those birds. Next gen. The future is here, guys. First stop, poorly pixelated trees. Next stop, anime. Your system is now able to become the host of many realities. It's time to relax and enjoy your new form of life. Yay. Imagine a digital reality that you can control. One that feels like it's lived in. Where you're feeling your emotions through a number of cameras and interacting with your family through virtual interfaces. Speaking of which, I have to see if I can find it. I think I might have it somewhere. I have an old PC magazine that basically talked about... I'm not sure if it was Second Life or it was maybe the prototype to Second Life. This is before it's like released and it was like, it was big news back then. Like, like oh, you're gonna be able to buy real estate in the virtual world. Reality system has evolved into a bioelectronic organism. It can replicate at the same rate as its eyes can adjust to higher amounts of light. It can maintain constant environment for the flow of blood nourishment that made a result. Yeah, yeah, it was a big deal back then. There was everyone's minds was blown. Now look at this. Playing gacha games. 
The eye is a product of collaborating human intelligence researchers, a unique combination of body and heart, able to process the human mind and put into motion the most natural responses for a human to embrace as a being. Now that you know about Reality System, we can now install your first reality application. Would you like for me to proceed with the installation? You can nod your head for the answer. The home reality. Oh boy. The one thing most people don't have, a home. You can now begin your home application by entering the portal behind you. Have a nice day. So we're going into the cube from uh, Reboot? <laughs> Incoming player! Blast, here's longer than home. Some features have been pre-installed for you. Yep, this seems about right. Take a look around for interacting with the environment. Hold the left mouse down. I'm supposed to grab them, crouch, control key. Using the key will allow you to see your add-ons for your player. Leave the home much time. After running the computer for your first room. Okay. And this is where our son lives. He never comes out of that room. Is this... I haven't confirmed it yet, but I'm just trying to think, like, is this like a really low res version of the PT hallway? <laughs> Of course, not everything. Curling and construction. Not everything is PT, but just a little loop. Alright, watch TV. Absolutely nothing on, just like modern TV. Kitchen. Empty like our souls. Just how I like it. This bedroom's nicer. Can't jump on the bed? Crap simulation. Would not buy. Yo, this sucks. There's a computer within a computer within a computer? Oh my god, it just opened my... Okay, so it does have med elements. It just opened my, uh... My, uh, computer here. As you see. So let's close that. Well, that, that jump scare must be really awkward if you're one of those people who doesn't like have a drive anymore. Surprisingly more common than you think. I see this game still got a little bit of fangs. Application world game reality wants permission to run. What can go wrong? Oh crap. 
everything can go wrong. What am I thinking? No, not the birds. They were so next gen. Welcome, manly badass hero. Hi. Lord Game of Reality wants to show you something. Please proceed to the portal. Okay. Sure. No! Oh, jump scares! World game. I don't even know where the game begins and the game ends. What's a cutscene and what's interactive? Who knows? Booting emulation. Are we emulating my soul? It's sad, the neutral. <laughs> That's the only two ones. And it's fake happy sometimes, see? No, we're just going to the old internet. Welcome to the world of place. This world represents a canvas for many styles of reality placed into this application. But click to continue. In this experience, you may find yourself to be calm, disturbed, happy, and or shocked. There is no need to be afraid of the true nature of this creation as it rep represents a greater good. A new hope for the ones that suffer, unlike the others. The reality of this creation is a mixture between the worlds and the realms of the past and the future, all generated through the machine eye. This emulator has the mind of its own and will attempt to recreate itself in many deceiving ways. As it sees fit, this is done from its very own artificial processing despite not knowing the true nature of its very own form of life. I hope you're all following. This could be on the test. Now that you know how the system works, let's go over the details of you, the player. Ooh. Sexy. The main goal of the game is to look and find a flower field outside of town. Why? You may ask. Well, you see, we need to obtain a very valuable item there named the Rose. Okay. Well, you think I'm gonna jump, get scared by that? You know, little jester. Let me just navigate this, uh, Windows 2000 Maze. Screensaver. Hello, my name is Light. It's not to meet you, manly badass hero. Hello, my name is L. To exit this place, you must find a big giant door gate that leads to your home screen. I have a strange feeling this place is going to change completely in a newer version of the reality system. So, uh, stay tuned. Do we still have to look for flowers? Controls are a little funny right now. It's... How do I describe it? It... If I stop moving, it still goes forward a little bit. So it's not so much... I was walking, it was more like I'm controlling a track. Recovery mode initiated. Message from unknown user? Hey, you might not recognize me at first, but I am someone you have met from the past. I'm about to get you out from there and back into our world. Please bear with me for a moment. I'll explain everything very soon. 
taking a bears with you. Recovering corrupt file, a dark place dot reality. Now ready to run. Press the space bar to begin. I don't think it worked. You're gonna jump scare me again, aren't you? I'm kind of, I'm, I'm digging this, I'm digging this game. Something weird going on over here, but let's ignore it for right now. It makes me kind of think of like a horror version of Hypnospace Outlaw. I think it's pretty different than the original. I, I don't remember the original too much of uh, A Dark Place. It was a little more I'm scared. This is a little more... Unique, as in I, I haven't really seen anything quite like this. Music box is locked. New beginning. He's gone. I think the nightmare was to leave with the game. You were free. But yet you still decided to reinstall the game. Do you want more? Do you really want to see more of him? I think this reference might be a reference to the first game. You decide these things, yet pull yourself at risk. I saved you from my deleting the game, yet you want more. These things sometimes have to be put to an end. Now go and leave this dark place as there's nothing left to see. The end, you're free. Have you met before from the underground? I was located near the end of the old forest, like the way within the empty room. I managed to escape the loop right before the end occurred. I told the Plast player that the nightmare was gone and lost forever within the abyss. Well, I told the lie about it to keep the player safe from his spreading curse. One year later and the world has become withered as he continues to grow his power to this very day. You are an important fragment called the Pond from the Legends. The one that takes the rose to recreate the realms of the forgotten past to an entirely new universe. And there's the rose again. I may have underestimated the player from the old world. Nightmare could have been stopped yet another way. But now we must forget about the lost to continue forward. I will now grant you access to the withered realms of the forgotten past. You shall then find a rose near the very end of the path. You will then be able to recreate the darkness realm for a new second chance to move forward. Ancient realm music box key. Can't tell where I'm going. Realm of the Wizard Wyvert, the future of the previous world. Is this also kind of like Worlds? No, I think Worlds was pre. I think Worlds was actually what I saw in the magazine. Now that I think about it, I mentioned earlier. Because Second Life didn't was didn't exist yet. I think Worlds came first, and that was the one. Oh man, it had a very misleading advertisement. I mean, it looked better than it was. It was just like a little CGI, old CGI thing. But look, nothing like that. Hey, up here! Throw me the key. Didn't you want to forget about this key? You need it to continue forward. Thanks. Paper thing. There's another flashlight. No, oh, no, there it goes. This looks like a maze. I'm gonna start hauling butt through this. So, excuse me if I overlook, like, overlook something, rather. And I will be, in fact, bunny hopping because that means you go faster. 
Everyone knows that. Um, the world is turning to meat again. Help? Oh crap. I am looking for you, player. Lock is jammed. Incoming. the balcony. This looks kind of bad. Dark place too. Please wait. Sewer surfing. Looks like we're on the wrong end of a architect's dream. This Dimitri actually is pretty old school. Uh, like, black and white horror movies aesthetic. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> oh! How about the tank engine? No! Did you listen Thomas a tank engine at me? He was pretty spooky. Oh crap. Oh crap. No, 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 Thomas! That train, man. Damn doom train. Mr. Bones is wild ride. Ends up in a dead end. Go in the tools room? Is that Mr. Bones' trap also? <laughs> I've got multiple bones to pick with you. No, Mr. Bones. We need something to open it up with like a tool. Yeah, you could do something where like it pops up just as I hit E, so it's perfectly timed to like send Mr. Bones at me. Huh. Your glorious I'm awaits you. It looks kinda like a rail track. You know, one like Mr. Bones might like. 
God dang, Mr. Bones. You can't go in reverse, can you? I found your weakness. Like everyone else, your life is on rails. Climbing is a little bit funny. Um, frozen? Nope, it's just evil. Oh, crap. Okay. This button, tool room, drop tunnel. Okay. I'm assuming we get a tool there to open the grate. It crashed. Or did it? I can't tell anymore. I think it actually did crash. No, it's a legit one. Not obtainable yet? I guess you, you... It's not obtainable in the sense you can't get it naturally in the game. But you can visit it using the level select. So this basement pixel area. Oh boy. PS1 game jam time. <laughs> How come the TV here is nicer? Got a nice TV. Got a little void under us. Every house should have a void. We got a key, it's literally just glued to the wall. Let's see, what happens if we drop down? Can't drop down. I guess this is it for this area. So this is very undeveloped right now. I'm not sure what this button quite does. Also, the, the crash keeps occurring over there. I think it's tied with climbing. I'll see that right now. I'm not just sure it's tied with climbing. Because when I first get, went through here, I did not technically climb the ropes. I just bunny hopped up there. And every time I return back, if I try climbing, it crashes the game. So, it'd be interesting how I get back. I might have to uh, use that box. So, I'm thinking this maybe is a time button. I mean, like, hit it and then run back. Weird. There, I did. Tool room entrance key. All right, circumvented a bug. That's... That's the snake I remember. Now 
get a tool. So note self, never touch those ropes anywhere near that door. A prize? For me? It must be my birthday. Now, I think you can break boxes. Yeah. I'm looking at this puzzle the wrong way. Oh, no, it was there. It was just buried. Okay. I had to, uh... Weird. So we use the sledgehammer to open the one thing over here. I'm assuming anyway. Sweet. You love watching me, okay. You know, everyone's into their own things. It's good you like watching my channel. You should like, favorite, subscribe, and donate. Don't forget to check out the Twitch. And the social networks. Now, I think the next levels may not be in the game. I'm curious how it handles it. Yeah, it kind of just jumped. Location is nearby. Reset rows. Yay. Oh, this is the, um... This is the, the title screen. Well, there's an invisible wall there. Over here, too. I see something over there. Is that a poorly textured rose? Or no, that's... A what? Oh, um, that is a trap. Mr. Bones, no! <laughs> Game over. Game crash was at the end of the game. <laughs> Wait. I hear noise. Mr. Bones! He's flying around at the speed of light. He's on my other desktop, I mean, monitor. He's free. Mr. Bones, no!
It's controlling my mouse. Can't do anything. It's kind of kind of creepy. Booting reality system. Feedback info app. Thank you for playing the demo. Any feedback would greatly be appreciated. Okay. So that's it for A Dark Place 2. Uh, it's kind of a demo, but it's not really. It's it's part of that little... It's it's shareware, basically. It's, it's shareware. It's kind of like how Undertale's demo was just basically a chunk taken out of the game. So I have not played the original. I think I've watched a playthrough of it a very long time ago. Uh, it's, it's fairly old now. Dark Place 1, and I think there's another game that might be part of this universe. Uh, Dark Place 2 is an improvement over the original. It's, um, so far anyway, and it's mighty cool. Mighty cool. I really dig the... I think the... the I don't want to use the word vaporwave because it's so overplayed, but I suppose you could say, to simplify it, it it's a vaporwave aesthetic. It's really just a throwback to Windows XP specifically. Maybe Windows 2000. Or Windows ME, but we don't talk about Windows ME. That that was haunted in itself. So plenty of meta horror games out there now. This one, it's kind of got its little niche and kind of delivered what it needs to deliver. Aside from its one rope climbing bug, um, I didn't really see anything else that was standout that was wrong with the game pacing or bug wise. But yeah, that's it for Mr. Bones' Wild Ride. Till next time, thank you guys for all watching me play at Dark Place 2. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.